everyone and welcome to my August haul. I haven't got too much to show you this month because I'm going away to Thailand for three months. Well, two months in Thailand and one month in Australia and I'm so super duper excited. So yeah, I'm just going to literally show you the things that I have bought but be prepared, it's not going to be a lot. I featured this jumper in my first ever outfit of the day video so I'll link that for you down below if you want to see what it looks like on. I bought this jumper mainly because when I tried it on I reminded myself of a cat and cats look quite warm especially in the winter time so I thought I'd purchase this to see if I am as warm as a cat. That's a bit weird I know but that was kind of my reasoning behind buying this. It was £34 and it's super soft and like, oh, so cosy, and it'll go perfect with all my high-waisted items. So yeah, a really good number from Topshop, and I stay true to size on this one. I've been scouring and scouring the internet like a mad woman, trying to find the perfect leather mini skirt, and I finally found one off the ASOS website. It's real leather, so it was quite expensive, it was £55, but I just think for this autumn winter, it's an absolute staple for the wardrobe, and it's so soft, and yeah, I just love it and I can't wait to wear this one out. I bought this from DK Maxx and it's by the Make Ginger G. I have no idea if it's a bargain or not because I've never heard of that make before. But I got this for £14.99 and I stayed true to size on this item. And I just thought, because of the colour and the textures, I thought it would work really well for those autumn months coming up. And it's a midi dress as well. Uh, I thought it would just be really comfortable, especially if I just like don't, I'm not really doing much in the day. But yeah, I can still look kind of good, I hope. <laughs> Guess what I bought? Are you guessing? Still guessing? Bored yet? Shoes! <laughs> I just love these boots. I've been looking for a good pair of winter boots for quite a while now and I finally found them. These are Vagabond and um, I got these from their ASOS website. They were £80 but I did find a discount code for 10% off so they were £72 and I just love this style, the Chelsea boot style and they've got a zip this side so they're really easy to take on and off they've got a good chunky heel on them, they're so comfortable I wore them all day and night one day and like not one blister and the ball of my foot didn't hurt at all so I absolutely love these and I always wear these now and I should have most probably bought two pairs because I can see myself wearing these down to the bone but yeah, a perfect shoe. I was really naughty and I bought a Michael Kors watch. Um, I saw it for quite cheap on the Watch Hut website and as well as getting 22% off in the sale, I also found a code for 6% off. If you haven't noticed, I love my discount codes and I love my online shopping for that fact. Um, yeah nice watch. <laughs> I love this watch because it's just a really nice chunky style but it's not too masculine, it's still quite feminine. The gold, like I've said before, really complements my skin tone. It's such a classic look that I feel like I'm going to get so much wear out of it and I just love items that help kind of boost any outfit and this is one of those items. So to complement that lovely watch of mine, I bought this bangle. It does come as a pair, it comes with another one, it's from H&M. They were £5.99 together, but I really, I'm not keen on this one, so I'm never going to wear this, and I basically spent £6 on this one. Um, but I've seen like bloggers wearing this kind of style, and I thought it was really kind of ladylike, but yet with that edge with the studs on the ends. And yeah, I just thought it was a really cute little piece to wear with my watch. A good friend to keep it company. I also bought this ring from H&M. It was £3.99. I really love how it overlays the other fingers. So you can just literally throw this ring on and it's still look enough on your hand and not look too minimal, but not be too much either. So yeah, I just think this is a really good style. The last jewellery item I have to show you is this really nice simple necklace from Topshop. I just thought this would look so nice under collars or um, just on t-shirts even on its own. It just kind of like adds something to each item of clothing you wear it with and I just really like that, especially since most of my items are quite basic. It's nice to kind of put something with it to dress it up a little bit, but not too much. So it's like a really understated 
and good to peace, I think. I think this is like £8.50. The only makeup item I bought this month is this MAC bronzing powder in A33 matte bronze and I don't really like shimmery cheeks too much because obviously I use a highlighter so that kind of does the job. But I bought this one and it's a really nice shade of brown and you really can be, you don't have to be too careful when you apply this one which I absolutely love because you don't want to be standing there like delicately putting your brush in your makeup. You just kind of want to whack it on, you know, if you're in a rush, especially if you wear it every day. And I really like this shade, it really works on my skin tone. And yeah, I'm just really happy with it, even though it was £20, which is quite pricey, but hopefully, because you don't have to use too much of it, um, it'll last me a while. I really needed some new lip balms, so I thought I'd try out the Burt's Bees. I always, always buy Carmex, but I am just really drawn to this. It's got a man with a beard on it. Yes, and men with beards clearly have really soft lips. Um, it was quite expensive, I can't remember how much it is, but I'll link it down below for you. And I just bought this from Boots. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, hence why it's still in the packet, but I'll let you know how that goes. I really outdid myself this month and spoiled myself by getting three piercings in my ear all at once <laughs> at a place called Indigo in Norwich. They're really friendly, the guy who pierced my ear was actually really nice and he talked to me the whole time. And I don't actually mind piercings, I think they're quite easy to get through because they're super quick. But yeah, I don't really like wearing normal earrings so I just thought three extra ones in my ear will um, dress it up and you can hide them and yeah, they're just, they're always there but they're not always seen which I kind of like. Another one on the top and then two at the bottom. So me and my sister went for a shopping trip all the way to Lakeside in London and all I bought were these two things from the body shop. It was a three for two offer on, so both me and my sister bought the face wash and it's the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash and I really would recommend this. It's so nice, it feels so good on your skin when you're putting it on, like your skin feels like it's breathing almost, it's amazing. And I do think this actually really helps with my spots. I don't get really bad acne, but I do get the occasional spot now and again and this just makes my skin feel so much healthier after I've washed it with this. And this was £5, I think. And then my sister let me get the free item, which I decided to get the Almond Hand Nail Cream. And my skin in the winter gets so dry on my hands, like sometimes they crack and sometimes it's quite painful, disgusting, not very feminine I know. But um, I thought I'd try and prevent that this year and I've heard good things about this hand cream, so I thought I'd give it a go. And this one was also £5, but free if you get the three for two, or whichever one was free. They were both the same price. <laughs> Last item of the haul is the Marshmallow Hearts Bath and Shower Gel by Treacle Moo. And this is new. I've never seen the candy jar collection stocked before. And I've only ever seen this make sold in Tesco's, but they could sell it elsewhere, I don't know. But it smells incredible. It literally smells like I'm about to smother myself with like sweetie goodness and I love sweets. Um, yeah, I love like stuffing my mouth full of sugary stuff. So I thought I would treat myself to smothering my body in sweet stuff too. <laughs> but this is like 2 dollars I think that's a really good deal. You get a lot in here. I think it's, oh, it's 500 milliliters and it smells amazing. I would say it smells just as good or maybe even better than the original sauce shower gels which I always used to buy but then I found these and I just buy these all the time in so many, they do so many different scents and I love it. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Sorry there wasn't like so much to show you but hopefully that made this more bearable to watch and yeah I really hope you have an incredible weekend and yeah sunshine, peace, love, <laughs> um, comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up, you know the drill. Bye! Oh, spider. Bye bye spider. The cats look really warm. Well the cats? Cats. Hmm. I don't know what I'm saying.